I want to talk about feeder fish, okay? All you little high school punks that work in pet stores and think it's so cool to feed goldfish and rosy reds to Oscars and other big predatory fish. Uh, you're right, it is cool. But here's the deal, like, in my humble opinion, these fish generally come from like the skankiest of skankiest of skankiest conditions and like the most neglected tanks in the pet store and or the distributor that they get them from. So your boy Dusty uh, was just getting, got handed these rosy reds here and I do not recommend feeding them as a staple of the diet of your fish because there's not much to them, first of all. Second of all, you can get better stuff out of pellets and you don't want them to get stuck on eating these. And third and most importantly, like I was just saying, these are nasty skank fish. Like, what if one of these fish is carrying something that kills the fish that you love because your fish fully ingests whatever nastiness is in one of these things. So I do not recommend feeding live feeder fish at all to your beloved fish because what if these nasty fish have something on them that your fish is gonna totally ingest and then your fish is gonna have that problem. That being said, let's feed some Oscars. All right, this is not how you bag fish, by the way. You're supposed, I'll show you how to bag fish. This is not how you do it, okay? You need to make it easy for the customer to get the fish out of the bag, and this is not how it's done. So if you'll bear with me, I'll like, teach you all something here. This is not how it's done. The appropriate way to bag fish, per Chuck at Pet Supplies Plus in Finley, Ohio, back in 1996, is like this, okay? This is how you do it, okay? Set the fish on the ground, okay? There's no air in there, okay? Now what you do is this. Now if you can do this, you are a gangster with no love for host. You pick the bag up like this, and then you snatch it from the top, and you get all the air you can. See that? I'm gonna do that again. We're gonna do this in real time. See, where's the air, where's the air? And you just go, and you snatch it like that, and then you twist it. Now, you do not put the rubber band on this part. What you do is you take it and you twist it and you go like this, and then you use the rubber band around it like that. So that when Mr. Customer gets home and is eager to feed his fish for a YouTube video or an Instagram video or a Facebook video, you can just go pow and pull it and it's off. That is how you bag fish. Boom. Boom. Boom, that's three. Four. Five. No one has eaten yet. Six. There you go. Seven. I think it's grabbed another one. Eight. Oh, I got a live one. Eight. Did he get that live one? Yeah. yeah that's nine. He has tails out the fence, flopping out the mouth. Nice. Okay, I'm not sure which fish has more personality, the Golden Dojo Loach, the Beta Fish, or the Oscar. That's up for debate for another video, another time. You can click the links around and check out some videos I've done on that. However, there is an Oscar like problem. And the problem with Oscars is obviously they're awesome, but the problem is this, okay? The dominant Oscar is going to continue to exponentially get more dominant, and you can see it here. And I knew it was gonna, look at him! He knows he's on camera right now and is just like, about it, ain't living without it. And he's mad at me for not wearing the new Oscar fish shirt. But the Oscar problem is this. Every time the dominant Oscar eats, he eats like twice as much as all the other Oscars, okay? So he'll eat twice as much and then he'll get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. And then he's a little bit bigger and then he'll eat twice to three times as much the next time. And then when I throw some delicious protein like bug or something that we throw in here, he's the first to get it. So he's always getting the best food. He's always getting the most food. He's also scaring away everybody else who lives punk lives down here. So Django is exponentially getting bigger and bigger and bigger than all of his punk tank mates. I would love to know if you have a solution for this. I'm thinking about putting him in a 125 over there and letting everybody else live here peacefully. But that is ultimately what I have found with the Oscars. I would love to know your feedback in the comments uh, with Oscars. How do you keep them the same size and one just not always eating and getting bigger? I mean, he's terrorizing everybody. He's still sweet though. What's up, dog? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? He shimmers in the sunlight too, he's so rad.